In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can convert M4A files to WAV using Audacity, first in Windows and then on Mac. But afterwards, Mac users, I'll show you how you can do the same conversion in Apple Music without the need for installing Audacity. For Windows users, I don't believe Windows has a built-in tool to convert M4A files. However, there is a free tool from the Microsoft Store that might be a little easier to use than Audacity. So I'll show you how to use that a little bit later on too. As always, you can skip ahead using the time tags below. Okay, by virtue of the fact you're watching this video, you probably already know that Audacity throws up an error when trying to open an M4A file because the AAC codec used by the M4A file format is not part of the Audacity installation. To resolve this, as the error stipulates, we need to install the optional FFmpeg libraries. Audacity does a good job of making this more convoluted than it actually needs to be. However, I find the easiest way to install this library is to click on Edit from the File menu and go to Preferences. If we then click on Libraries, we have the option to download the FFmpeg library that we need. Clicking on this button will take us to a web page, but not the correct web page. Instead, we first need to click on the link to the FFmpeg installation. Then click on another link to install FFmpeg for Windows, followed by another link for downloading FFmpeg, before finally we get to the page where we can actually download the installation file. You have the option of downloading either the zip or the executable. I find the executable is easier, so I'll click on that. Once downloaded, I'll start the installation. Follow the prompts by clicking Next, and once installed, click finished. If we then go back into Audacity, we can click on locate and Audacity should already know where to look for the library file. Click OK and we know that it's worked because Audacity displays the version number of the FFmpeg library we just installed. Now if we drag our M4A file into Audacity, it should load correctly and we can convert the file to WAV by clicking on the file menu and choosing export to WAV. I'll save mine to my music folder and I like to choose the 32 bit rate. Clicking save will begin the export. Once complete, if we check our music folder, there are our two audio files, one in M4A format and the other in WAV. Now let's look at how we do the same process on a Mac. Audacity on Mac requires the same FFmpeg libraries to open M4A files as we just saw on Windows. And to install the FFmpeg library is much the same process. Start by clicking on Audacity in the File menu and choose Preferences. Click on Libraries in the menu and then click on the Download button. As before, we then have to navigate through several web pages to find the actual installation file. Start by clicking on the link to the FFmpeg installation for Mac. Then click on the link to install FFmpeg for Mac and then we want to go to the Downloads page, and finally, we find the link to install FFmpeg for Mac. Once downloaded, run through the standard installation process and click on Close. If I then close out of the browser and go back into Audacity, we can now click on Locate, and Audacity automatically locates the libraries it needs to open M4A files. Click no because we don't need to manually search. And now if I drag my M4A audio file into Audacity, you can see that it opens up correctly. To convert it to WAV, click on the file menu and choose export to WAV. I'll save it to the desktop and choose 32-bit PCM. And there we have it, our two audio files, the original M4A file and the new WAV version. If we stay on Mac for just a minute, I'll show you how you can convert our M4A file without the need to use Audacity. We'll simply open up Apple Music and add our M4A file to our music library by dropping it over the app. Click on Songs in the menu, select the song you want to convert, and then click on File and choose Convert, followed by Create WAV Version. The WAV version then appears in our library next to the original file. And if I right click and show in Finder, there we can see both versions of our audio file. 
As I said at the beginning of this video, unfortunately Windows doesn't offer a similar built-in tool for converting audio files like Apple Music. However, if we open up the Microsoft Store and search for Sound Converter, we can install the free Sound Converter app. Click on Get and once installed, launch the app. Click on the arrow button to get started and follow the prompts by dropping your audio file over the app. Choose your conversion settings, I'll choose WAV and set it to high, then decide what you want to do with the original file. I'll leave the settings as do nothing and then click next. The file will begin converting and when done, you can see our original M4A and the new WAV file in Windows Explorer. So there you have it, how to convert M4A to WAV in Windows and Mac. Before you go, if you are considering starting your own YouTube channel or you'd like to see how I create my videos, I have a free course on my website, which I'll link to below. No gimmicks, it is completely free, so I recommend having a look at that. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you give me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick tips like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.